Hello ladies and gents, now in this video um, I'm going to explore some of the other activities that you might be asked uh, to uh, attempt when on a Google Classroom. So I'm going to go through a couple of different examples, I'm going to try and do it as quickly as I can. I'm not going to focus on the actual answering itself, but rather how you interact with it. So, um, you'll see how I've got, let's open... Um, Let's try this one here. So, ebooks. Now, ebooks are any item that's been shared. It's an online book that you work on. Now, when you click on it, it should, hopefully, if it loads up, give me an example. So, let's have a look. So, it says, here we go. Yep. So, you can see up here on the right hand corner your book. Uh, your name will pop up here. And you don't have to click hand in. So, you can ignore that. But you you still have the comments uh, field here. If you, should you wish to ask your teacher any questions, that's the name of the item. So if your teacher makes reference to it, that's probably what they will call it. But when you want to open it, you click on this button. You click on the icon here. Now what this will do is open up your ebook, your very own copy of it. Now, if it's been organized by your teacher, they might tell you, right, on the first page, that's your front page, just like any other physical book, put your name on there. So you see there it says name. It's very important that we click carefully. And I'm just going to wait for it to load up first so that I can show you exactly what to do. So there you go, it's done. So if I click on here now, it should open up the text box and just use a, if you look at your keyboard, you have a bunch of arrows up, down, left and right. So I'm going to click right until I've got to where I want to go. There we go. And I'm just going to put um, my name. Yeah. Okay. So obviously that's not my name, but you will put your name. Um, Keep it simple, boys and girls. Make sure you put your first name and last name. Okay. In fact, I'm just going to keep it simple. I am going to say capital first name, capital last name. Okay. Once you've done that, you don't need your middle name or anything like that, unless, of course, your teacher tells you to do so. And then you can start going through your book. Now, obviously, your teacher will give you instructions as to how or how many pages you need to do. So I'm just going to show you how to work with this because I found. Uh, in the past, students would get confused and say, okay, I, I see a picture here and it's got a question, so how do I type in it? You click inside, you wait for it to load, then you move your, ha your cursor to the end of the last sentence there. Can you see how if I move my cursor across, it changes to a plus uh, symbol with the arrows. Move a little bit more to, the, more, more to the left, there we go. And then you can click inside, press space bar, and then I can start answering the question. Okay? Blah, blah, blah. So you will type like that as well. Now try to avoid getting tempted moving things around, okay? Don't mess around with the, the actual presentation uh, because your teacher will have spent a lot of time organizing this. So keep it as it is, keep it simple because it'll be wasting your time and you might end up deleting something you don't want to. And then you'll get stressed out about, oh, sir, miss, I've lost my work. So just simply type in where you would expect to type in, okay? So that's how you type into a text box. Now, some of you might wonder, okay, but what if I haven't got enough space, or what if it's too big or too small? You select your answer, and you go up here at the top, and you choose the size that you want. So if you are um, a, a geek like me, and you waffle on like I do sometimes, you may want to write more, and therefore you want more space, so you can't go any more than this. The space is the space, there it is. You can't make the box any bigger, so you may, may want to reduce the size of the text instead and provide the space there. Now, you might say, but sir, no one can read this. Well, actually, your teacher will be able to um, zoom into this should they wish to do so, yeah? Um, it's not an issue. So if I click this here, you can see that it actually zooms in further so you can actually read it. So I wouldn't be too worried about them being able to read it. Just as long as you have your answer there and you've given your best uh, response. On the next page, I've got an example of a missing... Um, Word exercise, so you might be given something like this, so you just click inside, and this one's even easier. You literally just start typing in the box, yeah? So you literally give the answer, and answer, and answer inside the boxes, okay? It's as simple as that, okay? Next one. Sometimes you might be given something like this. You have a question at the top few boxes. You can clearly see this is a dabbit sheet, meaning do it again better, so you don't do this until you've been um, uh, given feedback, until you've had some kind of marking, and your teacher told you what you need to do. So as a, to start off, we just go in here, as I said earlier on, you get the cursor, go right after the last word, 
space and you put your answer in. Okay, as that, just like that. Um, and you'll see the other examples are pretty much the same thing. You're working with text boxes, so just make sure you put your cursor right after the last word and space and then start typing. And it's all the way, it's the same all the way through. Okay, so that's how you interact with a um, PowerPoint based or a Google Slides based ebook. Okay, when you're done, you'll notice I've just crossed it off. So you might be thinking, whoa, 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 you haven't saved your work. Well, that's one of the beauties of Google Drive. It saves automatically. So if you are doubtful, if you don't trust me, you can just click on there and you'll see it's, you'll find your work there. So if you give it a second, you can see my first name and last name quite literally is there. Okay. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how to work with other word-based documents and tasks.